Hi, it's Marianne of MW's Designs. Today I want to share with you some of the ways I decorated my handmade gift bags from a previous video. Probably the easiest way to decorate them is by using purchased embellishments like these flowers. On this bag, I used the embellishment just as it was when I bought it. I just glued it on the bag and I did the same for this one but these next two bags I altered the flowers just a little bit I purchased these flower sprigs at the dollar store in different colors so that I would have a choice as to what to put on my various gift bags and what I did, I took the sprigs apart right down to the individual flowers and I end up with a little flower bud like this. And if you can see in the middle, there is a piece of plastic and I didn't want that so I cut it out. Then I have these two uh, petal sections. I glued those two together. And finally, I add a pearl or a gem to the middle. I bought, I bought these gems and pearls on, um, at the dollar store, on, and they're on a piece of plastic. They have their own sticky backing. But I like my flower to be really secure and not fall apart. So what I did was I put a little bit of glue in the center before I added my pearl and that will keep it in place. And for this little pink flower, I used one of my pink and red bags and it looks really cute on there. Another little flower decoration I use is one that looks a little more realistic. This little tiny sprig. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And I also have a red bag for it, so I arrange it on the bag how I want it to be. And I have lots of washi tape, as many of you do too. So I thought I would just tear a little piece of washi tape off and use it to hold the sprig down. And you might want to add a little glue behind the washi tape or a double-sided tape um, just to make sure it stays because washi tape isn't necessarily that sticky. My next embellishment that I use um, are these brads. This is a set that my thoughtful daughter gave to me. She knows I like to do all kinds of crafts and these, I like this set. It's very cute and lots of different color choices. So. I use this one that says smile and all I did was make a hole in the bag, put the bread through and flatten the tines inside the bag and it stays put quite well. Another embellishment are these little fabric hearts and my daughter gave me this as well. So I put that little heart on another green bag and it looks very sweet, I think. And my final embellishment for purchased ones is um, decorative paper. This pad is from Reflections. It's called Across the Galaxy. It's an older um, pad, so it's from 2018, I think. So I'm not sure if you would find it um, anymore. But if not, I'm sure you can find lots of decorative papers that you would like to use. I really like this paper pad because it had um, lovely galaxy-themed um pictures. It had the moon and constellations, gems, 
and um, more gems on this one. And it had a, a pretty constellation with little stars. And it also had some text. Let's, let's fly through the universe among the stars. Don't forget to look up. And a number of other ones. There were also cut apart pages. And I like the sayings on them. So I cut out quite a number of the little squares and rectangles. And all I do for these ones, I just use one of my bags and glue or use double-sided tape to attach them. And they turn out very nicely. There's another one that I liked. So that is all I have for the purchased embellishments. But in my next video, because I like to make my own embellishments, I'm going to be working on fall and Halloween themed ideas. I like to make my own embellishments because they're very unique um, to me. And I can also make them very um, individualized to the person that I am giving something to in a gift bag or the actual item that is in the bag. That's one. And this is actually more summery or spring, but I'll just show you that I made that a little while ago with the butterflies. But I am going to be doing fall and Halloween ideas in my next video. If you like this video, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and also the little bell beside it so that you will be notified of the next video. I also would really be interested in your comments below if you would like to do that. I would like to know what you think of the, these ideas and if you find them helpful. So um, I look forward to seeing what you tell me. And I will see you soon in my next video. And um, thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.